When you thought this story couldn't get any messier for the commander's ownership, well, we have new details this morning on a new federal investigation into the team. Abby Larico joining us in studio right now with the breakdown. So what is going on here, Abby? Right, Larry, you know the commander's bombshells just keep coming. This latest one via ESPN reporting federal prosecutors in the Eastern District of Virginia are conducting a criminal investigation into the team. Now the repu report cites sources saying prosecutors are focusing on several areas of alleged financial impropriety. This is happening months after the House Oversight Committee sent this letter to the Federal Trade Commission pointing out some concerns the committee suggested the FTC look into. Headline claims of this letter, the team withheld up to $5 million of refundable deposits from more than 2,000 season ticket holders. And the team kept two different sets of financial books to hide money owed to the NFL. This is not, of course, the only investigation the team is facing. The attorneys general in D.C. and Virginia, a former federal prosecutor working for the NFL on the subject of Dan Snyder's conduct. The House Oversight Committee focused on sexual harassment and workplace environment, all ongoing probes into the team's front office. Now ask about these latest reports. The team's spokesperson tells WSA 9, quote, it is not surprising that ESPN is publishing more falsehoods based solely on anonymous sources, saying these allegations are simply untrue. And according to ESPN, they asked the NFL if they knew about this investigation. A spokesperson declined to comment. Larry. So much going on. Eventually, all of that begins to come to a head. Abby, thank you so much. Well, some of you are asking this morning, what does it actually take to buy an NFL team? Our Evan Kozlov looked into that. You'll see his report coming up at around 632. We will have continuing coverage of all the news coming out of the Washington Commanders. You can find more right now on our mobile app as well as WUSA 9 Plus. That's our streaming service for Roku and Amazon Fire TV.